ELD mandates ADAS dash cams that use artificial intelligence will make your fleet safer and more efficient. Getting set up is simple and I'll walk you through every step of the way. Let's get started. The installation process will take about 20 minutes to complete. Let's take a look at what items are included in the box. Once you open the box, you'll find the manual and both the lenses with plastic stickers. This is the manual. Peel off the cover before you proceed. There is white 3M adhesive. Peel off the film and you need to center it onto the windshield. And this is the W button to the side of the dash cam for Wi-Fi connection. And this is full 4G LTE. The Wi-Fi button is provided to connect the dash cam to a tablet or smartphone using our ELD Mandate ADAS Dashcam app. And in the other box, you have the emergency alarm button, cigarette lighter charger. This is the cigarette lighter charger. Then you have the additional side camera. An ACC cable that gets connected to the fuse box of your truck. And this cable has the fuse tabs. And a GPS device that must be mounted pointing upwards because GPS tracking technology uses satellites in the medium Earth orbit to measure distances and give fleet managers live updates in real time. Then you have the cable managers screws and adhesive sticker for the side camera and zip ties so all these items are included in this box these are the zip ties And now let's connect the cameras to the cables. All the cables are tagged, making the installation process very easy. So to begin with, connect the port of the ACC cable to the main power cable, line it up and give it a little push to plug it in. Now plug in the ADAS dash cam cable tagged as GPS to the GPS port, line it up and give it a little push. You have the emergency alarm cable that can be plugged in directly to the emergency alarm device. The side camera is compact, unobtrusive and incredibly powerful and can be placed at a desired spot such as at the side of the truck. It's also always recording and can be live streamed in real time. You need to plug it into the cable of the device labeled as HD and it's all set just like that. And if you do not want to use the fuse box of your truck as a regular source of power for your ADAS dash camera, you can always use the cigarette lighter charger. It only involves plugging the dash cam's power cable to a vehicle's cigarette lighter USB port, though we do not recommend using the cigarette lighter port. We provide this for temporary use until you get the fuse box installation done. To begin, start by carefully removing the backing on the adhesive film and centering it onto the windshield. Adjust the mount that allows for the dash cam to be level. When installing the dash camera, make sure it's in the center of the windshield for optimal and accurate AI calibration. Both the front facing and driver facing cameras are adjustable. And once you gather all the tools, the next step is to find where the fuse box is located. Here we recommend you have your vehicle user manual with you so you can ensure you are connecting to the proper fuse and understand the fuse's function. Your vehicle's fuse box is meant to be hidden, so you may need to remove some of your panels or lift a cover in order to get to it. The fuse tab should attach to radio fuse normally. And the ground wire connects to a metal ground bolt that prevents electric shocks. This is the ground wire. And you need to connect it to a metal ground bolt. There we go, just like that. 
And you can use the ELD Mandate ADAS Dashcam Fleet app to help install your AI Dashcam and confirm installation. Thank you for watching.